Hello and welcome into the start of another Let's Play for Civ 6 during the A&W 2018 Summer Civ Challenge. I don't know, that's all, that's all, that's just words. You know, you know what you're up to here and uh, we are playing Germany. Germany, Germany, Germany. Had to get a few re-rolls to find this start, unfortunately. Um, the game was not kind to me. Um, but welcome in, and we have a very, very interesting opener. I think I think several different um, turn one and turn turn one to five moves can really help make or break this game. Um, first, we want to consider our, uh, our our potential districts. Now, as 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 far as a capital goes, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen hills. Um, so that's potential for Ruhr Valley. We, if we are going to do a German space race, which is what they're kind of built for, in my opinion, and, and, and other victory conditions too, but certainly best at like a space race, um, we're going to want like a 15 to 20 pop slash hill city so that we can get a, a ridiculous Ruhr Valley. Um, that is, that is certainly doable here for our capital, um, our capital does not have to be River Valley City, but it should be one of your first like two or three uh, cities that you settle, um, and you do want to find basically all all the hills. Um, as far as like like this is a great tile, expanding to that right away would be lovely. Um, we could get a we could override the sheep for a plus two campus. Um, we could put in like our you know. Uh, our, our Hansa there with a commercial hub there. That's a plus four Hansa. Throw Ruhr Valley over there. I mean, that all seems completely fine. We'd have a plus three campus. Um, we could even throw maybe a government district over there if something were interesting. Um, and also the industrial zone uh, kind of railroaded by rivers, um, river tiles here is great because that means we could put our commercial hub here and another city's commercial hub here, which would boost the overall production if we wanted to and then throw Ruhr down something like that. Um, the moves that I'm considering, uh, the question was asked, is it mo worth it to, to move to the woods, um, so that you save this chop for later? Well, you're giving up a chop to gain a chop. Um, I don't think that's super worth it. Um, and we're set, this is a grassland hill, so it doesn't change our base. So it doesn't help accelerate our early game. The moves that I'm actually considering here would be to move onto this sheep. Um, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe that would turn our base into a 3-1. A I could be wrong. I know that settling on like cattle like this would do that. I don't know how sheep work exactly. Um, but that would also preserve the bonus resource um, if we settle on it. So it would still apply to a Hansa. So if we did Commercial Hub Hansa, uh, we'd still get the plus 4 because 2 resources and 2 for the, for the hub. And then it would be plus 5 for District Triangle. Um, I am correct. Okay, yeah, I thought I thought so. Um, it would kind of give up a good campus location, but it would give us some extra growth. We do start with a two-two tile, and then would probably expand to like the silk, which would help us pick up some other tiles. If we settle in place, we've got a two-two tile there. We've got a decent tile. We've got a two-two to expand to. These to expand to. Um, settling in place is perfectly fine as well. Um, probably just want to move our warrior and then make some choices from there. Uh, we are on a, we are Pangea Ultima. We are completely fresh water. We have a lovely, uh, like double river here. Campus on the other side of the, the, yeah, could, could be a campus over here or like over here. Um, I don't, I'm not worried about losing the plus two campus, even though we'll want a good campus. Um, now this move might take us out of the Ruhr Valley in the capital possibility, but boy, I don't think I mind a Ruhr Valley that could be over here in like a first expand because it's going to pick up all of these productive um, hill tiles and stuff as well. So I think the move I like gets us a turn to settle. What other moves would, would be reasonable? Like move and then move and then settle on turn three. Start with a 2-2 two -two tile, grow into this and have a 2-2 two -two base. That's a possibility as well, although I like it a little bit less. Turn two settle I can deal with. Turn three starts to get a little bit painful. A little bit painful. Let's move. Let's just move here. Let's see what we can see. So a bunch of silk. Bunch of silk. Interesting. 
So this is still going to be a pretty darn good uh, settle. I think I think I'm even more encouraged to move now, because settling like these 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 um, resources that are on rivers block the placement of districts, um, and we get bonuses to our production on our Hansa if we if it's next to resources. That still applies to the ones that you settle on. Um, so we could move and get another city on this silk. Giving it a uh, giving it a uh, two one one base for extra border uh, growth and expansion. Give us some nice culture early as well, um, and then be able to throw down like a Hansa and a commercial up here, and then maybe this third city gets their Hansa like here, and then it's getting bonuses from all the commercial hubs. You kind of want to create a district diamond um, with Hansas, okay? So so you kind of want like, all right, cool. There's a Hansa that's plus two production. We throw a commercial hub there. Uh, and then, like, this city would throw their Hansa here next to one bonus resource. Sure, it's plus one. But now it's plus three. And then we throw their commercial hub like that. So, oops. Something like that is kind of, like, keeping that just loosely in your brain when you're playing Germany um, is a good idea. Because now we've got plus, this Hansa is plus two from the resources, plus another four from the commercial hub. So it's plus six already. And then it's still in a district triangle, so it's plus, uh, plus uh, uh, seven. It's a plus seven, Hansa. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. The the worst Hansa you should be able you should get is a plus six, in my opinion. Um, we're obviously not committing to that here. We don't know enough about our land, uh, but that basic little strategy is is not bad. Um, yeah, I think let's move. I like the I like the second city over here. Oops, and we can see if we're right next to any city states. We're not. Although they haven't settled yet, huh? So this might make our cap worse, but I think it'll make our other cities better. And then we'll go ahead and settle, and we do get the extra food. Lovely. So we get so we do get a benefit to to settling. Like if you're gonna move, it needs to be worth it. And even just that little extra food is quite good. Uh, and we moved towards a 3-2 uh, a tile. Very, very nice. Although that could be a campus as well. Because that's that would be a, at least a plus 2. Um, but yeah, very good starting tiles. Um, and, and maybe a place to go here with our scout. Uh, we are going to start with a scout. Uh, we may or may not take, uh, take advantage of our bonuses versus city-states. Remember, we are adding in a wall mod. Um, and that wall mod will hurt us in games where we want to take over city-states and help us in other games. This is one of those games where we want to take uh take over city states because we're germany um, but we may not have the opportunity to um the fact that this is grassland and then the plains are below us kind of lead me to believe that this this would be more like equatorial like if we like we might be moving towards the equator um with like desert and jungle down this way this kind of reinforces that thought and then maybe up north is grassland and tundra um it, it's speculative but it, it could be um, I think I like this move, and then onto the silk. Am I thinking of doing a space race or murdering everyone? We'll see how the game goes, but we haven't done a space race yet in the challenge, um, and so I wouldn't mind that. No Artemis, no camps so far. This won't give me any vision, but hopefully the silk will give me a bunch. Oh, it gave me a little because of the hills. Lots of hills. Still like this settle option. Really good uh, next city. Extra culture, and then two two tiles, plus a, a really good tile there. Um, and stacking your cities close together with Germany to makes a lot of sense as well because of the uh, bonuses. So, lost, lost the best campus because of moving? Possibly. Possibly, but I get to sit, fit in, like, I think better cities. We'll find out. I made the choice I made. It's okay. Um, Let's see. Animal husbandry. Couple tiles around there. Certainly uh, plantations. Certainly plantations is a thing. Um, probably just want to play a little bit conservative and go for some early archers. So we'll start with, uh, animal husbandry. And as long as I don't totally die, I'll be happy. All right. Up onto the hill. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Okay. Well, it's cruise. Would you actually start with the 2-2 two, two tile or the 1-3? I think because we would be settling on the culture tile that I would start with the 2-2 two, two tile and go for growth. 
Um, growth is great if you have good tiles to, to, to work into, and, and this definitely does. In fact, I would, I would prioritize like a four food tile over, over this because I want this city to grow very tall. Um, growth is going to be maybe a bit of an issue in some of our cities here um, because we are so, it's so new world agey and stuff. Or the latest patches patching? I don't know, actually, Vlad. I don't remember what the last one was. Let's go here. And there we found our desert and some more silk and the coast. All right. I'm going to keep going this way. Hey. Oh, my gosh. And cocoa. And cocoa all on our continent. So we definitely have a plantation uh, continent. We'll go grab this. Give me... Give me... What do I want? Give me a scout. Relic. Relic will do. Relic will do. Wow. Wow. All right, so this might be my area to settle already. We've got coast. So I, I as as always, just chose the wrong way. <laughs> Should have probably gone elsewhere. Um, but yay, that gets us a relic. That gets us a pantheon. So that's good. Uh, oh, and we found Europe. Europe has diamonds. <laughs> Classic Europe. Petra. <laughs> oh, hi, and we have barbs. Also Classic Europe. Uh, yeah, so we just found our second continent. That's a nice little boost for us, though. Um, we are on our second citizen. We don't have the money to buy this, but if you grow here or here, I am not sad, so take your pick. Just don't grow here or here. I will be, I will be baby rage mode. Okay, so I'm actually going to move here first so we can see what's going on, and then we'll deal with the camp. I, I weirdly want a second scout. Is that crazy? I should probably just get a slinger and scout with it. But I definitely want to explore. I obviously would love to get started on the second city right away. I could see the benefit of that, but I also need to explore. We need to find some city states. Pangea and multiple continents is kind of a contradiction. Eh, not really, if you think about it. Where am I bringing this scout? Maybe here? To see, just to see what's what. Another goody hut. So definitely, we can we can get our cities over here. I think without a whole lot of uh, contention, which is nice. So that lets me hope that I'm going in the right direction with this. Nobody around us yet. Yo, what's up, house? Rur intensifies indeed. Do we know the logic behind border, border growth? Like with the flip-flopping? I don't. I don't, but I don't mind this tile either. A 2-2 two, two, and then the one three one is fine. I'd prefer this uh, a little bit um, just because it's it's it would just help us mitigate our settler losses soon, but we'll have it. We'll have it soon enough. So we'll go slinger probably into a settler at this point. Um, I'd love to go grab this right away, but I think I'm just going to smoosh the camp, clear it out. This could be Rur. Maybe. Would I consider delaying getting the Northern Goody Hut till I have the policy um, for the extra XP? It's not a bad idea. We could still explore and probably get there. Yeah, I think that's a good suggestion. I'll take that. Now I might not be able to. Jeremy gets goody huts for clearing camps. No, no, no. That's, uh, you're thinking of Sumeria. Or you're thinking of Civ 5. Okay, so we found him. Uh, and now we might not get our goody hut. 
which is the downside of the choice that we made. Okay, um, let's see if we can be friendly. Uh, I won't have a religion. He, he has one city already, and it didn't come my way, which makes me very, very happy, as far as I know. Actually, pretty confidently didn't. Okay. So we actually might want to settle forward settle first. Yeah, see now we lose. It's a there bummer. No dogs in heaven. Ah. I should have gone right for it. Wasn't worth it to wait. I still think it was a good suggestion and certainly worth considering, but I always like in multiplayer I think that might work, but even in like deity is just like cuz they have all the stuff. Um I think I just have to let him have it then. There's no way I was I was beating him there. And Wilhelmina, oh boy. Starting to get crowded. This is a standard size map. She got it. Um, do I, do I ever think about adding more city states in these games rather than the default? Does it benefit you or the AI more on deity? It depends on what city you play. Um, I think, I think it, you, you wind up having even less room to settle. And so I don't like adding in city states. Um, it just, it, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't work out. Like you want, you want land and space to settle. I mean, maybe in a game like this with Germany, you could go, cool, I'm going to destroy them all and stuff. Um, and, and, and that would be okay. But. I want to make sure he's not forward settling me. All right, so we nef definitely need to expand uh, this way first and then backfill later. So we have nine turns until our settler. We can get a little exploration done with our slinger. Uh, and here's our pantheon. Now, that this is an interesting choice as well. Um, we could, of course, once again, go for Earth Goddess. We, we've gotten really lucky on getting these pantheons in our games. Harvest, too, if we want faith. Um, but this might be a, a game where we don't want a lot of faith. Oral Tradition um, is, is, is scratching an itch, an itch for me. We have a lot of silk and bananas so far. Lots of silk, although we're going to settle on some of this. A couple bananas. That could be a nice source of culture. But we will, we will get theater squares in this game. Let me move first. Hmm. Open sky, lots of pastures as well. Um, and then there's always the classic divine spark. Getting all the uh, scientists is definitely a thing. And especially if we get uh, some theater squares, having some works of writing would help our culture a lot. Um, hmm. Turn 13 Pantheon, What, by the way. Really nice. See if anybody else is getting faith per turn. No, well, obviously he's not. Unless he found a, a relic already. Um. Faith's so useful if, if just for the builders alone. That, that, imp that, that, that assumes that we get a golden age. Um, and monumentality. Where am I going to put my district? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know how good the faith is here, to be honest. So is Scout Slinger Settler the new opener? Was watching me on the Nubia last game, and I did the same. It seems. It seems like a reasonable course. Um, I do like the scout because I really like to find things. Um, your warrior still acts as a really good scout, but um, hmm. we don't need God King here, so we can just take the production. We have our extra military policy slot. That we know we can do for sure. I'm really torn on this uh, Pantheon idea. I think it might be one of the culture ones, even though we don't need like we don't need to rush to that. I don't see us getting a religion. Where's my four faith per turn coming from? We found a relic, Ranzetta. Found a found a relic, which is great. Just got lucky. I'm good at getting lucky. 
until I'm not, and then I'm really good at being unlucky. So I think we're settling... I don't know. This this city might turn into Ruhr Valley where we just give them all of the room in the world and uh, maybe even like settle in Aqueduct City just to just to give them space. Like I could see settling the T over here. I'm I, and the reason I'm I'm looking at settling spots is is because if we're if we're gonna wind up overriding all of the other tiles um, from the culture, like we probably probably want to consider a different one. But so far we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, sil six silk. Coco and T are on the other side of the Pantheon, so they give you food, and that's eh, it's not that good. Even in our game where we're going to want food. But bananas. Yeah, I think I'm looking for something a little bit more impactful like now. Like Divine Spark in the long run might be fine, although I think we'll be we'll have plenty of uh I think we'll have plenty of of great scientist points and stuff. I'm torn between oral tradition. City patron goddess you can make worth work with Germany, but you need city states to do it. Um an earth goddess per usual. I think I might just go ahead and take the oral tradition. It doesn't help us right this second, but it will help us as soon as we get to plantation tech, and it'll wind up being a fair amount of culture. And then we'll have some really nice utility tiles, like like one, three, uh, two, and then another two initially. Two gold. Hey, what's up, two? How you doing, buddy? Harvest with all the jungle. There is a lot of jungle. I just don't know what I'm doing with the faith. Other than maybe grabbing like a great person or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I, I mean, sure, national parks would be cute, but we're mostly going to have mines and terrible, terrible appeal. So this is not going to, this is going to be the opposite of our last game where we had all the national parks. I could see settling this silk too to pick up the cocoa and that one leave this one in play and then settle a city over here and grab all the all the hills and make this rear valley it's a possibility i think i'm gonna take the culture there's another bananas up there i really have to think long and hard about the faith thing great people maybe we should look at, at great people um, none of these are really insane for us. So that's actually good because it means maybe the second or third one, it would be something that we want. We could maybe faith buy. Maybe get one great person or some builders for the faith. I, you know what? Maybe having the faith economy would be, would be better. Who do I tend to skip in the great people? Um, it just depends. There, there's no there's no hard and fast rule to it for me. Um, all of them tend to be pretty good. Even the ones that are just the inspirations wind up being a fair amount of science. Um, it'll just depend if I've got those inspirations already and how close my, uh, my opponents are to getting theirs and if I really want the next one. So it's really situational. It's, it's, it's hard to give you a hard and fast rule there, Vlad. I really want to just settle all the cities. I, all I want to do here is just sprawl. Sorry, YouTube. They, they laugh at me because I'm like, you played three turns in that video. I know. I know. I played 13, so... Just kidding. I love you guys. What if, like, Jesuit gets spread to us? Does that ever matter? Yeah, that's kind of that's what I'm thinking too. So with your pantheon, um, to Mad Admiral's point, to with your pantheon, you either want you either want like okay, this is my late game victory condition. I'm gonna grab it. You know, something like Dance of the Aurora with Russia, right? Like I'm like, not only does it impact me now, but it's going to carry me later on. Um, 
So you either want impact, you have to decide impact now or later, and you need to you need to decide. Am I getting more of a thing that I already have, or am I am I getting something that I'm going to be missing for most of the game? Um, and so in this game, that would certainly be faith. Harvest for monumentality equals free settlers for for cities. True, that is that is very true. If I can find a golden age, we unfortunately missed a goody hut, and that'll that'll slow us down from the golden age. We're we're currently at three of twelve. We have to get to twenty four for a golden age. I don't really see that happening. I don't think we should bank on monumentality for the next era. The one after that, maybe. And I plan on settling at least one of the silk. I actually don't think... I don't think it's... Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think Earth Goddess is, is all that good. We're going to have mines. We're just going to we're going to have crummy appeal in most of our most of our so I don't think we're going to get as much out of Earth Goddess um as as we previously would. Um we're going to want mines and we're 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 not going to be sorry about it cuz we're going to be production powerhouse. So I I'm going to say Earth Goddess is out. I'm between harvest cuz that'd be a lot of faith and oral tradition. I think it's oral tradition. I think I think even though we have a nice base of culture already, I think I think having extra culture, getting to policies, getting to governments is going to outweigh uh, the benefit of these other things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. We're gonna decide on oral tradition. We'll 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 probably talk a few times throughout the game and uh, as to whether this is a good decision or not. But hey, that's Civ. It's there's opportunity cost for everything you do. Picking oral tradition, um, definitely definitely uh, you know, definitely steers us in a certain direction. Hey, Sooner, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Smash that button call to action. I know, I'm bad at all that stuff. I'm bad at promoting myself. I have no business being a streamer. Okay, cool. So there's our choice. Um, and that does mean that we're going to want to keep um, irrigation as an early priority. Uh, because I would like to get that. Give, give us housing, give us gold, um, and things like that. I think with Harvest, you'd be targeting a large sprawl in the age after next. The problem is I'm worried about getting forward settled. I think I need to get cities out even before that age. Like, I agree with you, but I, I just think that with, with a standard size map and Pangeo, like, the world is going to shrink and shrink and shrink. I'd love to get to 12 cities, but I don't know that that's going to happen. We found, a, we found a relic writer. Nightbot's a little sleepy today. Ah, uh, delegation. I should be sending delegations. I should have sent one to Wilhelmina. I did send one to Congo. Um, we can send one to Poland, although she's probably not going to like me anyways. Let's take this. Hey. Okay. Pastures would have been good, too. But I'm more likely to remove a pasture. I can't remove the silk. So we can settle on silk and, and herd our pantheon a little bit. Um, hmm. Hmm. Germany. Indonesia in the game. Amazing that we had all of our pantheon choices. Hattusa. Bummer. Not the first meet, so no science for us. But a scientific city-state all the same. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, uh, did I? Did we do one of these for you, buddy? Love, John. We got me too. Me too. I don't know if you got one of these, Norm, but everybody go follow Norm. I think most of you already are. Um, he, he, he says when you're playing a science victory, you don't mind the medieval monumentality run because the settlers get to 12, get to pretty pricey. Yeah. Snag the last few with faith. I agree. Um, but I just, the world's going to shrink for us really fast here. Don't kid yourself. Netherlands. Whoa. <laughs> no first meets at all. 
But Buenos Aires is great. Um, we could get some extra luxuries from that. And let's look at the continent breakdown. Could make so many smoothies with the, <laughs> the hill bananas, I know, right? All the smoothies. Um, I actually want to get through here, maybe, but that's not going to happen. So maybe we can sneak down that way. Early Empire boost. Uh, it's not great, I guess. Go ahead and clear this. Take our promotion on the way back out. So we're at 9 of 12 era score. Do you get era from first meets? You sure do, yeah. You sure do. We can uh, look at our history timeline. So we met um, Poland. We met the Netherlands. We met the Congo. Holy cow. How's that oral tradition looking for everybody? Any doable city state quest? Great question. Construct government plaza? That's doable. Government plaza? That's doable. Astrology. Shoot. There's, so this is where Germany's... Usually you, you just salivate at this and you go, I'm going to take all of you guys over. Um, we might not worry about it, though. I want to get back, escort my settler. Get, get a firm planted city here on the T. Get a firm planted city over here and then worry about backfilling. Um, and, and maybe this is where we're going to regret not having taken uh, something for monumentality, but is what it is. Now we have three citizens, three really good tiles to be working. Very, very happy about that. Four turns till this is done. Atusa, I, I need you to clear this. All right, I'm going to bring my Slinger back to escort my Settler, even though we might give up a Goody Hut or two to do so. Yeah, this is looking like a, a Ruhr Valley city. Do I need military for the Settlers? Yeah, that's why I'm bringing this guy back. He's going to say, watch it heal me, and I'll just be mad. Plus, we're bringing our scout back around. Let's go in to clear this. Please. Hey, you Butterfingers! Do they do stuff to you? Thank you for the five. No. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Hey. Thank you for the five months in a row, Butterfingers. Appreciate you a lot. Welcome back into the shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I would love to grab this, but I'm not... We can save it. I guess we're just coming back this way. Oh my goodness. That city is looking pretty good. Poland used a warrior to clear an outpost, so they cleared this one. Um, all right, how brave are we going to be here? How far forward do we want to go? Yes and yes, great. Um, God, I wish I knew what was going on over here. is already minus <laughs> gluten I'm gonna buy some real life tiles for the sub like for the bathroom um what about like this let's start to let's start to think about this from what we know perspective it's on a hill Potentially good. I did like the idea of this tea settle. It doesn't have that many good tiles. But it doesn't block anything we're trying to do down here. And it picks up the tea. We could settle on the tea. We get some more... Eh, this is actually kind of a crummy city. We could do this and this.
can settle this tea as well. Actually, that's probably better. Kill some of our gold from plantations. Yeah, I like to squeeze in my Germany cities too for the Hansa stuff. I fully agree with you there, bud. Yeah, the river gives us some defensive bonus. Like if we settle this, we could get uh we could do like Hansa. Hmm. What about just this? That's silly. We give up we don't give anything give up anything from our from our pantheon. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty confident we're going to settle this, right? Do both T's and then maybe we can get another one up here. I kind of doubt it. But if we get one, two, three, somewhere in here. Four, maybe five, six, seven, and then an eighth somewhere. I don't want to just give up at eight, but we do want these cities to be tall and have population. So spreading them out like a little bit is a good idea. We have, we, we would like to centralize districts and have like farmland elsewhere, which is actually, you know, maybe this city grows pretty tall. Yeah, I like the tea settle first. It gives us a luxury too. Plus, we can buy the cocoa. Give them the cocoa to start with. Uh, that winds up being really good. All right, let's make that choice, and then we'll worry about the rest later. It's not too bad. Okay. Um, Slinger Settler again. By the Cocoa Vape Nation. <laughs> um, oh, man. Okay, we've got a camp. We, let's actually go away from archery now. I was just thinking we should have switched out of that. So the camp's right here. We've got a slinger coming. Okay, we've got foreign trade. We can get a trade route. That's great. And then we can go towards our settler policy, which is what I want to do. Hmm. Really good Zimbabwe by the lake to the east. This? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, actually. Settle the rice, get a Zimbabwe here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Resource Zimbabwe, that's pretty killer. Pretty good. Oh wow. Got wamboozled. Campus for our cap. Do I have a monument? I do not, no. Nope. I feel like I'm going to get attacked here, and I don't want to. Um. Ah, ha, ha, okay. So he had actually moved away. Maybe we can still s sneak in there. Um. Do we still like the tea settle? Now that we know that much more. I mean, I don't want to go more north than that, I don't think. Like, just, just getting these two cities and then, like, a third down there. So that's three, four, five, and then maybe six, seven, eight over here somehow. It says weak production. Um, Yeah, it's not great. 
But if I move here, it doesn't really change it. I guess like lumber mills, we'll probably want to rely on these lumber mills a little bit. So we probably won't want to clear those. I like this too. It gives us a little extra science. We are trying to, we're, we have an, a, an ambitious opener here. Um, planes. I mean, I'm not getting that cocoa. Oh, I see what you mean. The planes hill across the river. This one. I think that's a little too. I don't think I gain enough. I can still get a campus there if I want. Could actually maybe throw a government Armin. district in here. Like, a government district here could actually be disgusting. Uh, Inris, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. What do I usually build first for the second city? Typically a monument, um, because I like... I, they don't have any culture. So the difference between um, your capital and, and your other cities is that you, you have a solid one culture. Um, so your border growth happens reasonably quick, versus this is... My first border growth here with my 0 0.3, because of my one citizen, is going to be 36 turns away. So building the monument is quite nice. Yeah, the extra cocoa, but I don't need it. I mean, I'm not. I'm. Who am I trading it to, right? So this is likely the big, the big, uh, the big continent that pretty much everyone's on. I guess we're sharing Europe with Krakow a little bit, uh, but so far Netherlands and Congo are here. So having that extra cocoa, it's. I mean, it's good. It's a good gold tile. But there's like farms to be had here, districts in the middle, government probably. It seems pretty reasonable, I think. Um, what do I want to build here? I actually think I'm going to build a slinger here. We'll get our third slinger out of Frankfurt, um, just because we are kind of forward settling people. Oh, I, I, I'm misunderstanding. Am I, Norm? I'm sorry, buddy. The hill adjacent to where I settled would have been one extra tile from the cocoa. The hill, so this adjacent, this one. I get you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm in my own world, per use. All right. We might get yelled at for forward settling now. Thank you. I want to snag that if I can. Whoa, Petra. Is there a River Valley site? You better. You better believe it. Are we are we on YouTube right now? You guys are. You're famous. You you <laughs> You're famous. You're internet famous. Can't stop thinking about the Zimbabwe. It haunts you. <laughs> it haunts you. Don't, uh, you did. Um, okay, wait a minute. Oh, and, uh, that actually, wow. Um, and a, and a, a financial city state, which is nice. Uh, we're going to get the boost actually to, uh, to, to, to this. And that's going to, that's going to push me over on this slinger. So I think I've wasted a couple production for it, but I don't see the point in continuing to waste that production. <laughs> we're, we're just about done with this video, Ran. So that makes sense. Um, My man. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Naroon, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah. Lost a couple production there. No one yelled at me for forward settling. Can someone else hit you? I really... Oh, I should have gone there to meet him. I mean, I'm not getting the first meet anyways. That much I know for sure. We'll go and clear this camp as well. Bring this guy back home. Here's our boost. So we finished archery. So basically, this guy converted to an archer. Um, so zero production towards it although there is actually there should be like two production towards it because we we put a turn into it or four four oh four from my uh policy 
Still, though, I think we'll go for this. We have our three tiles back again. I think we'll save our money to maybe buy a trader next turn. Hi, Zanzibar. Three era score for that. We've got time on our next era. Maybe we will go into a golden age, and I'm going to make... I'll, I'll just regret all the things all the time. Um, but yeah, so that wraps us on our first video. We'll make the, we'll make the rest of turn 28 when we come back. Thank you for watching. This is a uh, pretty promising, pretty promising. Although we're we're not going to bully any of these guys, as far as I know. Um, we actually have reasonable space between us and our like. This is one of the one of the more fair uh, openers I think we've had. <laughs> like, there's actual space between us and other people's capitals, and they didn't just forward settle my direction. They forward settled each other. So that's um that's good stuff. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.